What did the cow say to the goat that was in his way? Move on over. Let's pretend you're a dairy farmer and you have a bunch of cows that you want to keep in a specific pasture. To keep these cows in, you construct a fence that completely encloses the surface of that pasture. Since you have a closed fence, you know you're not going to lose any cattle and you know exactly the number of cows you have. Okay, now this is a bit of a stretch, but in electromagnetics, Ampere's law says that if you know the current that is traversing a surface, you can construct a closed contour around that surface and find the magnetic field that's induced. It's kind of like building a fence to keep in current cows. This is a similar concept to Gauss's law, in which we had to construct a surface to enclose a charge distribution, and we use that to find the electric field. Ampere's law in differential form tells us that the curl of H is equal to the current density J, and in integral form, it tells us that the integral around a closed contour of H dot DL is equal to the current I. In plain English, Ampere's circuital law states that the line integral of H around a closed path is equal to the current traversing the surface bounded by that path, or the current enclosed in the path. One big limitation of Ampere's law is that its application is limited to symmetric current distributions, which allow convenient Amperean contours to be constructed around them. Let's look at an example. In this example, the xy plane contains an infinite current sheet with surface current density js vector equal to x hat js. I want to find the magnetic field intensity h everywhere in space. And I've provided this illustration courtesy of the Ulibi textbook to help us see what's going on. If we apply the right hand rule, putting our thumb in the direction of the current density and curling in the direction of the magnetic field, we see that h goes to the left or negative y hat h for z greater than zero and h goes to the right or y hat h for z less than zero. We will use a rectangular Amperian contour to help us find h. We need to remember that current density is current per unit length. So the current i is going to be equal to js times l. We also notice that h is perpendicular to the paths of length w on my contour. So for these parts, the dot product of h and dl is zero. Let's apply Ampere's law. The contour integral of h dot dl is equal to i. Plugging in values, we find that this integral is 2hl and it is equal to js times l. Simplifying, we get an expression for the magnetic field intensity h, which is negative y hat js over 2 for z greater than 0 and y hat js over 2 for z less than 0. From this example, we should have seen that given a current distribution on a symmetric shape, I was able to construct a closed contour that allowed me to find my magnetic field anywhere in space. This turns out to be pretty useful, just like Biot Savart law was for calculating magnetic field due to current. That's all for now. I hope to see you back soon.